you've got a bone to pick about last night's All-Star game. I said part of the problem for Major League Baseball is this conundrum of with your jewel showcase event, 75% of the players nobody's ever heard of. Yeah, I think that still is a factually incorrect sentence. I mean, go go back through the lineup, the box score last night. Are there people that you've never heard of before? Sure, but Adam Frazier and Brian Reynolds are the exception. They're not the rule last night. 75% yeah, that's of right. those players you never heard of before? Let me tell you, a casual sports fan, not you, not I, not Mraz, a casual baseball fan sits down last night. You tell me, they know Raphael Devers? No. Do they know Marcus yes. Simeon? A, a, a no. casual sports fan? Absolutely Devers, not. Yes. Simeon, Absolutely probably not. not. Marcus Simeon? No. Tiesco Hernandez? Zero chance. Cedric Mullins? No chance in hell. Adam Frazier? No. Brian Reynolds? No. Jesse Winker? No. Th that's half of the starting lineup before we get to the pitchers and the and the backups, the reserves. That's half the starting lineup. Bogues. It's not three. It's not three quarters. It's not three quarters. You said seventy-five percent. I, I just said. I said that's, that's half true. of the starting lineup. You want to get to the reserves? You think more people know the reserves? I didn't even mention Max Muncy or Nick Castellanos. You think regular sports fans know those guys? I think Max Muncy was in the was in the World Series last year. Doesn't matter. The year before that, doesn't so matter. People do know who Max Muncy is? Yes. Does not matter. You think, Bogues? Come on. You telling me the average sports fan sits down last night and knows who Max Muncy is? Are you telling the average sports fan, though, then is disappointed when they see Max Muncy and they go, who's Max Muncy? Yes! So that's the other part of it. Your, your assumption is that they're bothered by that. If they're a casual no, sports fan. No, no, no. Fan, Let's start. They, do they know who they're Don't move the goalposts on me, Bogues. No, I'm not. Do they this know? The other I, part of your point. Forget the disappointment. Do they know Max Muncy? But does it, ma it only, well, it only uh, matter? Answer the question, Bogues. I, I am in You're the challenging question. whether they knew 75% of the lineup last night. I'm giving you a guy. Did they know him? First of all, again, you have not gotten seventy-five percent because he, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer, Dia. Say yes or no. Answer. You keep cutting me off because you still again you're saying seventy-five percent. You haven't gotten to seventy-five percent yet, so let's start there. Second of all, they might not know who Max Muncy is, but it only has to matter if they are bothered by not knowing who Max Muncy is because that's your point that it hurts baseball. If they don't care that they don't know who Max Muncy is, then it doesn't matter that they don't know who Max Muncy is. Is that true? Correct. Your point was people were bothered by it being Max Muncy and not somebody else. And you don't know that that's the case or not. That's what matters. If they turn it on and they go, I'm turning it off because I don't know who Max Muncy is, that's a problem. But if they didn't, then it doesn't matter that they showed up not knowing who Max Muncy was. Let's start with the math. You challenge the math. I give you half of the starting lineups without the reserves or the pitchers. So do you agree they didn't know, the casual fan didn't know half of the starters last night? I think we're in the neighborhood of half because I okay. we disagree on people like Rafael Devers. So okay. like right, I, so I, don't know how to, I don't know how to answer that. So we're around 50%. Yes. Mraz, do you think the casual sports fan knew Max Muncy and Rafael Devers? Absolutely not. Okay. So that's where we will disagree. Number two, here's the pitchers that pitched last night after Max Scherzer. Burns, mm -hmm. Marquez, Rogers, Walker, Peralta, Melanson, Reyes, Kimbrell, Wheeler. I would say 80% of those names the casual sports fan didn't know. That's all of the pictures of the National League last night. That sounded like rattling off names in Super Nintendo when they couldn't use the real name <laughs> and likeness of a baseball player. Would you agree that 80% of those pictures the casual sports fan doesn't know? Uh, I would go certainly north of 50%, yes. So do we think that we're getting closer to my number here? That well, half again, of the starters and 75% of the reserves, people don't know. So we, you, again, you and I want to agree on 65%. You want to split hairs on me there, Bogues? But this is not new either. And again, the bigger not point the is- Not the question. Okay. But the bigger question is, does it matter? Does it turn them off? Does it make them not watch okay. the game? And I don't know that. Okay. So- And as, neither as do you. As, and the other problem is- Well, no, I do. This always happens- No, I do. I do, because Major League Baseball all-star ratings have gone down precipitously over the years. Number two, we constantly talk about how baseball doesn't market its stars. These are the best players of the game, yes. and 65% at best, nobody knows. So you don't think it's a problem? You think people are like, this is great. I don't know who any of these players are. This is wonderful. I love baseball more. The opposite is happening. 
No, I think the problem predates the All-Star game. I cannot, I've, obviously baseball's a problem with PR. We all know that. There's no disputing that. My problem is the All-Star game should be one of the vehicles for introducing these players to us because you didn't care about the Pirates because they suck or you didn't watch a Brewers game so you didn't see Freddie Peralta pitch. Now you've seen them in the All-Star game. The All-Star game is, should be part of the solution. It's not part of the problem. The issue that baseball has predates the game. The problem is whatever the percentage is, 50, 60, 80, it, it exists before the game, not because of the game. The ratio is so skewed. In the NBA, if you watch the All-Star game, the casual sports fan knows all of the starters and perhaps the NBA, there's 24 NBA all-stars. There's less, that's less than that's right. one. That's less than the national so, league team. So let's put it this way. Let's say there's 20 NBA all-stars that everybody knows. There's not 20 major league baseball players. Everybody knows. And in terms of all-star, I mean, do you want do you want to do that all-star. list now? Cause we can do that list. We can get the 20 guys that everybody knows. We could definitely and get the 20 two, that we would all agree on that. Everybody knows. Do you think, that we can get to 10 starters that everybody in, in, the, in the country knows as well as the 10 NBA All-Star starters. Yes, especially if we start with the initial rosters that were revealed on July 4th, we get those rosters that involve the guys that are not playing. Well, so no, but that's, but that's different too, because I'm talking about last night's game. If you tune into the game, you didn't tune in to see the unveiling of the rosters. You tuned right. in to see the, the people playing. But the point is, when the rosters come out and they have Ronald Acuna Jr. and then he tears his ACL 72 hours before yeah. the game, baseball can't can't fix that. No, no, or of course not. No. So Brian Reynolds plays last night because of that. So you can't hold that no, against baseball. But that's but that's one. That's one. And Mike Trout was injured too. That's a big one. And exactly. Mookie Betts was injured too. Those are big ones, no doubt. But it's also an issue that. Two pirate starters are in there and two red starters are in there. And there's a number of players nobody's ever heard of in there. And that's supposed to be your jewel event. Let me just go back to the 2001 Major League Baseball All-Star game. Okay. This is just 20 years ago. Here is your starters. Roger Clemens, Pudge Rodriguez, Alex Rodriguez, Cal Ripken Jr., Manny Ichiro, all on the American League. In the National League, you're talking about Again, stars, Mike Piazza, Randy Johnson, Chipper Jones, Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa, Luis Gonzalez. Those are stars that everybody in America knows. 20 years later, there's nowhere close to that last night. And we lost Bogues? If you no, just, you didn't lose me. Oh. I'm just pulling up the roster again. I, so, I mean, I, okay, I, I, can't, I can't match 2001, but could I find another year that didn't have that level of people in it? I probably could. I, I, the game, listen, there, there's the, the problem with baseball all along here, and there are definitely issues with the way the game is constructed, is the, the roster ends up being almost like the Pro Bowl because the amount of people that don't show up for the game last night. So that's a thing that, that baseball absolutely has to fix. But you know, Adam Frazier being in the game last night should be a positive, not not a negative. Is where I'm coming from. Well, it should be twenty. It should be twenty five percent players we've never heard of to introduce them. It shouldn't be seventy five percent. And that's that's the ratio that is off there because of the two thousand one and Major League Baseball All Star Game. You could introduce guys that nobody's heard of before, but by and large, you want to tune in for the stars. And then you get a little whiff of a, an Adam yeah, Frazier. Unfortunately, the stars weren't there. I mean, Altuve, Correa, Betts, Acuna, DeGrom, you Darvish, those, none of those guys were there last night. And, and I don't like that's and important. baseball admitted that they have to figure this out because too many guys bailed with no real reason for this game last night. So like, that's the thing. They well, have yeah, we're, yeah, so you sure. and I are arguing the same thing then. Yes, absolutely. Correct. I said, the problem is most people tuned in last night and didn't know the players that no matter why they were there or not, that that was a problem. And you said, no, it's not a problem. People like the unknown. They just tune in for the game. And I'm like, no, no, they want the known. no. And, and wh- how, why ever they're not there is the problem. No, what I said was, we don't know yet whether they were bothered by it. Oh, come on. Do you, you think, assume they Okay, were. so you think the ratings were as good and the bump will be as good for baseball if all those players you just mentioned had played last night instead of Brian Reynolds and the, the rest of the guys? Run, the home run derby numbers are up because of Shohei. I'm expecting these numbers tomorrow, tonight, whenever they come out later today, to rely on Shohei. So Otani you're telling me extent. if Mike Trout, Ronald Acuna, and Jacob DeGrom, and Mookie Betts play last night, you don't think there's a more positive effect on the interest in the game? You think it's just the what same? I'm say, what I'm saying is I don't think, and I'll – 
uh, if I'm wrong, I'll be wrong. And we'll know in a couple of hours. I don't think the game took a nosedive because of Brian Reynolds and well, Adam Let's Freed. just use logic. Do you think most Americans would have preferred to see the stars you just rattled well, off? DA, of course they were. All right, not arguing, then we're I'm, arguing the same point then. No, no, we're not, DA. We're not. You're saying that people turned the game off. Are you not? I don't I'm know saying, if they did. Yeah, yet. well, I'm, I'm saying certainly some fan, people would. Yeah, I don't know if everybody did. The casual but... sports fan does the casual sports fan even know? Did, did they know about Brian Reynolds before they turned the TV on? Before they made their decision to watch this game last night? Well, if if, if it's so Brian casual, Reynolds is, or Mike Trout, his presence there. If it's Brian Reynolds or Mike Trout at the plate, do you think somebody that flips over to the game is going to stick through one at bat more than the other at bat? You're, the casual fan is is going back and forth in his baseball expertise in your argument here. One minute he doesn't know anything, and then he's, and he's no, no, no. by the next thing he knows I, who's in and who's out. If a casual fan stumbles across the NBA All Star game or tunes in, and LeBron takes a shot, he's like, "Oh, LeBron's there." If a casual sports fan last night sees Brian Reynolds at the plate instead of Mookie Betts or instead of Mike Trout, is he more or less, or she more or less inclined to stick around with that game? The answer is so he, obvious; it's not even worth arguing. Okay, then I'll stop arguing it then. All right. Well, what's the headlines then? 